meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. LGF um, when the overland is getting built. Um, we're doing an interior update now. I think from your last it was number four. Um, it was up to the project build. Um, they just started mocking out the interior. Well, now I've come back. We're starting to fit all the electrics and the water pipes and start properly, you know, putting up the cabinets. So we're going to show you around. Hopefully you can see with this, I haven't really got, I'm mean, filming on my phone, so it's hard to get sort of spaces, but um, hopefully you can get to see roughly what it is. Right, we'll just spin you around and we'll show you what we're doing. Right guys, here we go. Here we are in the bedroom, in the rear back end. Don't know if you can see, let me walk back a bit. So, whoops, nearly fell. So the whole back of the section. People were saying about them cold spots in the in the corner here, all this channeling. Now everything's getting boxed in. All behind it's insulated. As you can see, you've got the you've got the first bit on. It's actually sound deadening. Then there's actually um, more silver stuff going on top. Then there's it's all getting um, filled with um, the plastic type um, like rock wool type stuff. You know the proper stuff. Then getting covered again and then it gets boxed in with all this you can see all the way around the whole truck and cleverly you can see the wires building spot lamps all into that as well we're having window into this one putting in obviously you've got the gas all the gas and everything's going into this corner we were going to have under some tanks but it's been really hard to sort out so we've gone We've had to sacrifice a bit of garage space. Gonna put that in there. Bed, all this is gonna, the bed's gonna go up to about that line there, you can see. And then the whole lot will lift. So it'll be on hinges. So if I want to get into here without going to go in the garage door, which is gonna get, it's just waiting to be built. So that line there will all be a five star, like a fully shaped to the truck. So that will have a, a doorway in there if I want to get stuff from outside, but when I'm inside, I just want to pop in. I can just lift this up, open this doorway here, there's going to be, lift up the bed and get stuff out. So I can stack really pack well in here and not have to worry about climbing in and everything. So also we've got some little cabinets up there. Obviously I've got my kids sort of living with me part time. So here, because obviously we're eight foot wide, we're doing, and the bed's only six foot, well, just a bit long. We're just having a, a cupboard. We're gonna, all this will have a, a one, you know, two cupboard doors on it, like two little mini wardrobes, only little thin things with shelves. So basically one of my kids can have all his clothes that side, one can have all his that side, and they're all tucked away, nice even, because obviously they don't live me full time. So and it's only just to store their stuff and the bits and bobs. So here we go, we've got the bathroom. Door's obviously not put on or anything yet. So we've gone for electric flush. So that's it. So packed it out the bottom. Obviously all the floors, everything's got to be redone again. Obviously there we go again. All the channeling has been boxed in, insulated. Wiring all down through the channels for lights in here. And then the shower room. If you remember from the last video, there was a bit concerned the shower room was too small. So now we've been extended. It's a lot bigger now. It's perfect size. Having a full vanity unit system put on the side here with sink. And so it doubles up as a bathroom as well as the shower room and again built-in waterproof lights in there and again all boxed in again everything insulated 
there's no cold cold sparks coming through from the metal then we go next to it which can be wardrobe so I'm having a couple of space at the top I've just lined these up for them so they're ready to be put in the want to know where I want them so shoes all at the bottom middle section for wardrobe nice big wardrobe that and then top all for um, t-shirts and stuff like that and again you can see all about that that's all going to be boxed in and again same as all around it'll be all boxed in insulated and you can see with the plastic tubing that's all where all the wires run all around the vehicle all tucked away nice and safe and then we're just fitting in just got a Propex Malaga we've gone for heating hot water system and we've got the big Propex heater that's all in so this will be boxed up here boxed off this will be storage here and then in here there's going to be a lot more storage but then all the electrics everything's getting hidden all behind there, that's not the battery, that's just testing. We have cupboard space here for access into it. All the electronics and the computers, everything going in there. And then this whole back wall has been changed a little bit. I was a little bit worried, but we've changed it around again. <coughs> we were having a doorway originally in there, and the whole back wall was just covered. Sorry about the noise. Okay. Right, let's start again. So yeah, we're gonna have a door door put on there. And I'm probably just gonna put a great big full length mirror in there to give an optical illusion the size in here. Now we're gonna have a telly in there. Um, I was worried because I wanted all cupboards just for storage, but storage adds weight and I'm trying to keep it lightweight so this is going to be the best thing I love in here. It's just you, everywhere. Every camper needs a, a junk room. That's going to get another shelf in there. So all the wellies, boots, everything in there. And then fit all the tents, all the dog stuff, everything can all fit in there. So it's all got the same place. All these, all my food storage similar layout to in my camper at the moment so you've seen the window oh don't worry again people just, all the metal work is all gonna be so all that will, will be covered you won't see that it's all gonna be covered in plastic here we go, gone for the Thetford. So it's all got the grill, everything all built into it. Oven. And then we've got a lovely ring. So we've got three rings on there. Nice splash bag on it as well. So it's all ears are working. So help the doors, unfortunately. Sink I'll go in there. This is going to be all cabinets, pots and pans, all the cleaning stuff and extra pans, bits in there. Again, you've got. I only need one of them for all my pots and you know from cut, not cutlery plates and things, plates and cups. And then these two extra storage for food. Especially for long trips. Got the drawer for the cutlery, and down below we've got all that's going to be for my um, the Dynamatic uh, CRX80 fridge, the new one. And we've got the Dynamatic sink. So yeah, it's coming on now. You can see the insulation in the floors. It's all chopped out on the water pipes and then we're laminating We've got laminate to put down on the floors real wood 
going in there. So, there you go, it's starting to come. It's basically, hopefully, next few weeks, it should be about done. Still got things to put in. Obviously, what we've got, we've got a window going in there as well. And in the roof here, we've got a electric vent. Obviously, it's a shower room. And we've got up in here, above the kitchen, I've bought the, the top of range maxi fan. So it'll be brilliant for keeping this place cool in the summer for my dog. So there we go guys. Again, apologies for the sound. I've already had to turn the radio off because obviously YouTube doesn't like radios on in the background. But I can't tell them to turn all the tools off. Not on a working business. So you get the idea. If anyone's building one and looking for ideas of layouts, yeah, it's coming on now. I was a bit worried about that end, but I think it's, it's all right now. We can all lay the bed out, sit and watch telly. I've got plenty of cupboard space now. So, yeah. There we go. Any questions? Send me a message. I'll try and answer what I can. I only, get to, I only come down every few weeks. I'll be back in next week to drop off my fridge. I've got to take the fridge out. So... Right. Take two. Didn't load before for some reason. So yeah, please like and subscribe. Um, you know, it's amazing how fast the channel's growing. I've just updated the logo. Um, I will be doing some branding stuff later on in the year. Just need to find stickers and bits and bobs. Um, so yeah, anything I can do because I've got a new sort of clothing line, hoodies and t-shirts, just mainly for myself really, but if anyone wants any, anything else then they can put an order in as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can get this truck back in February, because um, I'm homeless. <laughs> my, truck's, my other truck's sold, I've got a deposit on it, after the last video it's sold in minutes. So yeah, I've got to bought a little car to run around in and I've got my mum to stay out so but obviously when I'm at work all day for 12 hour shifts I've got my dog so I really do need my home on wheels to park at work and then I'm okay then so yeah please like subscribe click the little bell button if you want to follow if you don't want to follow any other videos then don't have to you don't have to click that it's up to you thumbs up or thumbs down it doesn't bother me I'm just doing this a lot of it for fun so just to help other people and you know building these you don't have to go and spend 250,000 you know at these big German companies you know you can do it in a budget of sort of 50,000 that's with the truck and everything you know, that's why I picked a cheaper truck you know I mean yeah I'm going full out if you build it yourself obviously you're going to save yourself a fortune I mean my build's got 8,000 pound in VAT alone on it so if you did it yourself you can do a lot more but it should be, you know, nice at the end of the day. And it's for me to live in full time. And a bit more comfort. So, yeah. Okay. Enjoy. Our next video, I'm just about to head off now to Lake District. I've up there now for four or five days. Never been wild camping there yet. I've been on holiday up there. So, I'll do some videoing up there. Right. Take, cheers. Take, see you later. Bye.